this is Paul. Yes. Uh -huh. I just want to make sure that um, every judge understands that a credit crisis, foreclosure, and having moved to Vancouver so that Jessica could go to the Washington State School for the Blind are... Um, Are extraordinary circumstances. Now, my family never went hungry. I was always kind and loving to my children and my wife, but Heidi did not like the idea of not being able to buy what she wanted. So I stood there and I asked her, well, you can buy your homeschooling books or we can pay the rent. Now it's your decision. Do you want to be on the street or do you want a house for a family to live in? <laughs> now, as many women as would get angry, I am sure that domestic violence was not happening when I obligated my wife to make a very difficult decision. You can't buy what you want when you only have enough money to pay the rent. Now, uh, Whoever corruptly, yes, alters, destroys, mutilates, or conceals a record, document, or other object, or attempts to do so with the intent to impair the object's integrity or availability for use in official proceeding, yes, otherwise obstructs, yes, mm -hmm. influences or impedes any official proceeding, or attempts to do so shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 20 years, <laughs> Um, did you get a copy of the dismissal and expungement? Yes. Because as I say, mm -hmm, a credit crisis foreclosure happened to a lot of American citizens. And for every wife that got used to thinking they were rich, welfare happened to a lot of Americans too. Uh, uh, uh. Now, what sheriff and what police officer and what oath of office has been obstructing, influencing, or impeding any official proceeding <laughs> or attempting to do so because of your refusal to remove your fraudulent court orders? And then what person, yes, intentionally did not give me notice of court hearings with the intention to conceal ooch, the dismissal and expungement of my personal record of being arrested? <laughs> and then what other object or, or attempts to do so with the intent to impair mm -hmm. the object's integrity coach and availability for use in official proceeding? Yes. Now, since Judge Rohr, Judge Kogenhauer, Judge Porter, Judge Melly, Judge Landis, mm -hmm, and any other judge of the United States of America has any idea... Mm -hmm, about the integrity of the dismissal and the expungement? Yes. I want all of you to know you can get up to 20 years for this. Ooch. How'd you like to spend two decades in prison for having any knowledge? Ooch. <laughs> that it's an act of war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you thought I was exaggerating. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when I look at the actual documentation, yes. The Superior Court case summary? Yes. All the times you had court hearings where you did not give me notice or opportunity to be heard. <laughs> I just want to know every time that Heidi openly admitted that Paul had no criminal history. Yes. That he did the best he could considering the credit crisis conditions that they were faced with. Yes. That when they moved to Guam, he did get a job. Yes. And that she made sure that the judge did fucking know. Oh, the case was dismissed, and he, do, he doesn't have a criminal history. Mm -hmm. The arrest record was sealed. Yes. Judge Porter, <coughs> 20 years. 20 years. Now, I just want to know. How many Americans lost their homes to foreclosure during the credit crisis? And how many Americans went from having a really good job to welfare?
I told you, remove your fraud from my last name. I want to know, during all the court proceedings, yes, from July 8th of 2011, how many times did Heidi admit that my record... I'm going to sue every judge of the United States of America.